While outwardly expressing full support for Ukraine, behind closed doors in Berlin and Washington plans are being hatched to force Ukraine into talks with Russia to freeze the war on its current front lines, German newspaper Bild said. Lithuania's foreign minister Gabrielius Landsbergis warned of this recently, Bloomberg reported. The German federal government has now set itself the main goal of putting Ukraine in its strategically good negotiating position, Bild said the country should negotiate with Vladimir Putin's regime about its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The White House and the Chancellery are coordinating on this, government sources told publication neither German Chancellor Olaf Scholz nor U.S. President Joe Biden want to directly call on Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to bargain on the future status of the Russian-occupied territories at the negotiating table. Instead, both countries, as Ukraine's largest arms suppliers, have decided to force the government in Kiev into talks with Putin's regime by restricting the quality and quantity of their arms deliveries. They can do this because no other Western country supports Ukraine nearly as much as Germany and the United States. Zelensky should come to the realization that things cannot go on like this, a German government insider told Bild, he should address his nation of his own free will and explain that negotiations need to be carried out. If constricting weapons supplies fail to bring Ukraine to the negotiating table, Washington and Berlin have a plan B, a source in the German government told Bild, what Berlin and Washington are striving for as an alternative to negotiations is a frozen conflict, without agreement between the conflicting parties, the source said. That would mean that even if Zelensky and Putin don't want to talk to each other, the line of contact would solidify and become closed, a new quasi-border between Ukraine and Russia.